Hi, I'm Dr. David Smotridge. I'm the founder and medical director of La Jolla IVF. Now I would like to talk about same-sex couples and the LGBT community. I've been very fortunate to be taking care of same-sex couples for all 20 years that I've been in our community. For female couples, women come in and they have more hardware than a male-male couple. So women can come in and we can do procedures with a single woman or we can do procedures where we get eggs from one woman, create embryos, and put those embryos into her partner so that her partner can carry a child and both women can be involved. So frequently, women want to have the same woman's eggs and her uterus involved, and sometimes we can do that procedure in insemination. Sometimes there's a need to do in vitro in that situation. Sometimes with a same-sex female couple, we get eggs from one woman, create embryos with a sperm donor, and those embryos are now placed into the partner so that both women are involved in the cycle. And I've done many, many cases with very high pregnancy rates where both women are involved in those cases. Let's say we have one that wants to be the egg giver, but unfortunately on her initial screening for infection, she comes back infection with chlamydia, or gonorrhea, or cytomegalovirus, what we would do is wait for her to have treatment for the infection prior to being able to get eggs from her. If the recipient has any of the infections, cytomegalovirus, syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, because these will be harmful for her as well as harmful for a pregnancy, we treat for these infections or wait for the viruses to no longer be active in their phase and then we can go forward with having one woman give the eggs and the other woman carry. Sometimes in a female-female couple, we have women present that are older or the woman who wants to be the egg giver has uh, a very low ovarian reserve or a reduced ovarian reserve. So while the goal sometimes with women couples are one woman gives the egg and her partner carries the embryo, if the initial partner who wants to give the egg after evaluation has a very low chance or no chance of giving eggs, then we can discuss with the couple easily, either using an egg donor or getting eggs from the partner who's going to carry as well. Sometimes we can get eggs from the partner who initially wanted to carry and put her into the partner who initially wanted to give eggs. So these are the various different types of therapies that we can provide for a female-female couple.